Now, Discord is an awesome software. There's absolutely no doubt in that. It's a great tool for you to literally hang out with your friends while staying at home. I mean, I know that there are many other chat apps and social networking apps, but none of them give the feel that Discord gives. Like Discord just hits different, man. And if you use Discord, you know what I'm saying. I mean, the concept of creating your own servers, you know, creating multiple voice channels, text channels for different purposes. It is just an awesome tool. I love Discord. But keeping all that aside, I just want to talk about one particular feature in Discord that you may not know of, but it is just too awesome to ignore. And I don't mean that this feature is a unique feature that only Discord has. There are many other um, apps like Microsoft Teams, uh, Telegram, Slack, you know, many other apps have this feature as well. But what makes it great in Discord is that Discord is already a great software. So you don't have to install another tool, a new tool um, for this particular feature. It's already integrated in Discord. To be honest, I use this feature a lot. Like it has literally helped me so much when writing code or when doing some automation. Now, the feature that I'm talking about is webhooks. That's right, webhooks. Now, if you don't know what webhooks is, let's Google that real quick. Discord's built-in webhook function is an easy way to get automated messages and data updates sent to a text channel in your server. So basically, when you set up a webhook in one of your Discord servers, you will get a webhook URL. You can send any data to that webhook URL and all that data that you sent will be forwarded to any of the text channel that you chose in your Discord server. Now, it might not sound that impressive, but I will show you some use cases on how I used it in the past and how you can use it as well. For example, I have created a Microsoft Teams bot which would automatically attend my online classes by itself, like I just have to feed it the timetable of my classes and it will just attend it by itself. Now, one requirement for that bot would be to notify me whenever it joined a class or when it leaves a class. So I made use of Discord webhooks for that. So if I go to this Teams channel over here, you can see that there are several messages here. For example, you can see this message. It says class joined successfully and it says the class name and it says the joined, uh, the status which is joined and it says uh, when it has joined and it also shows when it is supposed to leave. Of course, you notice that it, it only remained in the class for two minutes. That's because I'm, I was just testing it and I use the separate text channel when I actually deployed it to cloud. So just look at how useful it actually is. Now, one more thing is that Discord is available for all the platforms, even if you're on your smartphone, even if you're on, uh, you know, an Android or an iPhone, you can install the Discord app for your respective OS. And whenever you get any message from your webhook in your text channel, you will get a notification on your smartphone or any other device. So it's like getting notifications when something happens and you can get notified using Discord webhooks like that. Now, another thing that I used Discord webhook for, and I'm still using it to this date, is this GPU monitor text channel, if you can see. So basically, I mine Ethereum, I have a mining rig, uh, and my graphic cards, they tend to get hot. So I wrote a simple script um, that will monitor the temperature of my graphic cards, and if it exceeds a certain amount of temperature, I immediately get a notification on my Discord um, text channel saying that the graphic card exceeded the temperature limit. And it also shows you which graphic card exceeded the limit and it also shows me the current temperature of the graphic card. So this is like extremely helpful for me. I can't express in words how, how extremely helpful this is because obviously I don't want to fry my graphic cards. I want to, you know, maintain them in a good way. So whenever my graphic cards get to a temperature above 70 degrees Celsius, I immediately get a notification on my Discord. So I don't need to have my laptop or my PC. I don't have to be in front of my PC to do this. I have my smartphone. So whenever something happens or whenever the temperature of my graphic cards go above 70 degrees, I immediately get notification on my mobile through the Discord saying that actions need to be taken. And it will also obviously show me the other necessary data 
um, that is required, right? In this case, it will show me the name of the graphic card that has exceeded the temperature limit. And it will also show me the current temperature of that particular graphic card. Oh, and if you're wondering this cookie stealing thing, so I was basically like uh, making a tutorial um, um, on how one can uh, steal cookies through XSS. And I was testing it with Discord Webworks, so I created this one not for any ill intentions so just as a disclaimer i'm saying that all right and if you look at this channel instagram support phishing i made a video where i took down an instagram phishing website so what i did is i basically wrote a script to bombard that phishing page with you know excess amount of data hoping that it would crack at some point right so all that uh, all those details about how many requests are sent how much data is sent all that is actually you know sent in here so i was also testing it in this uh, channel so there's not much information or data that you can look here and same way this uh, youtube spam mod is basically when i wrote another script where where it will automatically go through my youtube comments and it will classify whether a particular comment is a spam comment or it's a normal original comment. And if it's a spam comment, it's going to use the YouTube API and delete that comment. So I was trying to gather all the statistics, like the number of comments which are classified as spam and the number of comments which are deleted by my bot. And all those statistics data is sent directly to my Discord um, text channel. So I can view it anytime I want from the comfort of my mobile phone or anywhere or any device basically and i also get notifications on my mobile when i get these uh, statistics so it's easier for me to instantly check those up so the first thing you need to do in order to set up uh, a webhook is you need to have your own server and if you do not have a server it's not a big deal you can create a server in just a matter of seconds so just click on this Place icon here which says add a server and then you can choose a template but i'm just gonna say create my own for me and my friends and you can just give it your name so i'll just say my private server and i'll click on create and you can optionally give it a server image or a server banner to represent your server so this is how your server will look like and you can see on the left side there's one text channel named general and there's one voice channel which is also named general so in order to set up a webhook you can only set it up for a text channel so just click on this gear icon over here which says edit channel and then go to integrations and now click on create webhook and here you can give your webhook a name so basically once we create this webhook and once you send some data to this webhook the data that you sent will be forwarded to this text channel and the name that you give here is the name of the bot that will send your data in the text channel so i will just say my bot as a name and that's it you can just click on um, copy webhook url and make sure you save the changes as well and that's it now you have the webhook url and let me show you i'm going to open my notepad and if I, if I copy it, this is my webhook URL. So there are many wrapper functions available for uh, Discord webhook API so that you don't have to deal with, you know, internally sending those, you know, those post requests to the webhook URL and all that. You can just make use of these functions. And for Python, there's this thing called as Discord webhook. So you can install it with pip. Um, so I'll just copy this and I'll just show you how to make use of this, right? So you can just say pip install discord webhook and that is going to install this module. So once it's installed, you can just import it like this and then you can just say webhook is equal to and then you can mention your uh, webhook URL right here. And then you can also say the content or the data that you want to send um, to your webhook. So I'll just copy this line over here and i will put it over here also paste my webhook url over here and instead of this one i'll just put it as my webhook url now in order to actually send this data to the mentioned webhook url you have to call the execute function so i'll just say response equal to webhook.execute so I'm just gonna go ahead right now and I will um, execute the script. So I'll say python script.py and it's sent. Now let me check my discord again and look at what we have. We have 
the message sent to us in our text channel. And you can also see the name of the bot that sent. This is actually the name that we have given while we are configuring our webhook. And actually we can embed many other things in the message like we can embed um, a thumbnail, we can embed an image and we can put a footer, you know, make it look nice in other words. So you can also do that by using the same module. Um, in order to do that, you also actually import discord um, embed, I guess. Yeah. And I'll say embed equal to discord embed and the title that I want to give is my title and description is this is a description and you can also choose the color by using this um, you know the color parameter you can actually give the hex code of the color that you want your message to be and additionally you can also set the author let me also go ahead and like set the footer for this so i'll say embed.set footer and i'll say text equal to this is a footer perfect so before uh, calling the execute we also have to add the embed that we have created so we can say webhook dot add underscore embed of embed and okay now let's go ahead and execute the script again and let's see the message that we get so you can see this is the new message you can see that it is very well organized you can see the author name and this is my title this is a description and this is a photo you can see it's very well organized now what if you want to insert an image well you can insert an image um, in order to do that uh, i think you can make use of this function over here you can also set the image as you can see embed dot set image and if you want to set a thumbnail you can use embed dot set thumbnail so we'll try with set image first so let me just i don't know go to pexels and let me search for cute puppy photos there you go that's a cute husky puppy so i'm just gonna um open this in new tab so i will just go ahead and here i'll say embed dot set image and I'll mention the URL that I just copied here. And that's it. Now let me go ahead and execute the script again. Okay, it's sent. There you go. There is our image. Perfect. So this is a way of sending stuff into your Discord. Like you can send any data from any of your own applications into Discord. And yeah, I, I guess that's it. Um, so I hope I didn't sound boring. I made this video to just, you know, let you know that there is this awesome feature that you are probably missing out if you're a programmer and if you write some scripts, if you're into automation and if you write some scripts, um, then you should, I think you should definitely make use of this webhooks feature. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.